guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So there have been a lot of sales going on because the holidays are coming up. Ulta had a 20% off sale. Beautylish had a special where for every $100 you spent, you got a $20 gift card, which is basically about 20% off as well. And Sephora had a sale too. So depending on like what type of member you are, you either got 15 or 20%. I got 20%. I wanted to do a video showing you guys all the items that I bought during these sales. I know people have been splitting them up, doing a video for the Sephora sale and doing a video for like the Beautylish sale and the Ulta sale, etc. But I just wanted to do just one video showing you guys all the purchases that I made in the past three weeks. Okay, so let's get started. Ulta had a 20% off sale and this was good for I think almost every item in the store with the exception of like Dyson. I don't know what other products you couldn't use it on but if you know please let me know in the comments. I only got two items from Ulta. The first one is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I've heard good things about this concealer. I have very dry skin and I've said that in previous videos so whenever I use shape tape I feel like my skin is very dry and I can't I can't smile. I heard good things about this foundation. I've been using it for the past couple weeks and I will say that I do like it. The second item I purchased from Ulta was the Naked Cherry. I wasn't going to get this. I wasn't going to buy it at all. Ulta had a special with points where you get 500 extra bonus points if you bought this. Factoring the 20% off with the bonus points and then when I cash in my points after all of that then I'm actually only paying about like $10 for this. I've been playing around with this. I can't say that I love it though. That was it for my Ulta purchases. Next I want to go over my Beautylish purchases. This is my first purchase from Beautylish. I was actually really surprised by the way that the box is wrapped and also their customer service. I guess this happens only once a year in the beginning of November where for every $100 you spend, you get a $20 gift card to use later. So here are the gift cards. They expire at the end of next year, which is great because if I want something for next year's gift card event, I could use these. From Beautylish, I did get a makeup brush set. I bought the Sonia G Fundamental Brush Set. I made a whole video doing a first impressions of this and testing them out. Uh, I'll link that in the description below. And then I did buy one more brush. I bought the Chikohoto T3 Foundation Brush. I'm still testing this out. I wouldn't say it's like my holy grail right now. That was it for whatever I bought during the Beautylish sale. Let me show you guys what I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I think this right here is the most exciting thing that I got during the sale. So let me, I'm just gonna get this out the way first. I did get a Dyson blow dryer. This came with a way hair care kit. So you get a texturizing spray, a memory mist. I have no idea what a memory mist is, but it sounds like some type of hairspray. You get a rose hair and body oil and then you get a leave-in conditioner. Guess what this was called on the Sephora website? It's called Blown Away. Blown Away, get it? Way, Blown Away. I find humor in the smallest puns. Next items I got, I got two eyeshadow palettes. I got the Huda Beauty New Nude eyeshadow palette. And I also picked up the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I've been playing around with this and I absolutely love it. I have a video on this palette. I will link it in the description below. And I am going to make a tutorial on this. I have the Natasha Denona Palette. This is what I have on my eyes right now. I did a get ready with me and first impressions video on this. My video will be uploaded after this video or before. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. It depends on what I feel like editing. Something new I wanted to try was the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. The only setting spray I have ever used was the Urban K All Nighter. I have a whole bunch. Well, I guess you can't see it there. I have like two bottles up there behind the brushes. I have this on my face right now. I can't say how long lasting this is because every time I use it, I usually only have my makeup on for a couple hours. 
but I will do a wear test with this and I'll update you guys. Next item I bought was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. This foundation is my holy grail. I've been trying other foundations and I will always go back to this. I bought this because the shade I have right now is way too dark on my skin. Last but not least, these two items I got for free. I got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I use this all the time. I got this in exchange for 500 points. Last but not least, this isn't a purchase. I became rogue during the sale. I thought this was really cool. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't even know how it looks like. This is hard to take out. Okay, there it is. Enjoy this year's collectible Sephora collection brush. It's exclusively yours as a rogue. Oh, this is really cute. Oh my God, it's tiny. Look how small this is, you guys. Here is a Sephora Pro brush, and here's a fucking rogue brush. Look, it's like half the size. That was it for my purchases. I think I did a good haul, you guys. Thanks for watching my video. I am going to wipe off my makeup so that I could play with the Natasha Denona gold palette some more. I know I'm obsessed. I have a problem, but I really, really, really want to play more with these eyeshadows. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video. Bye. I paint my nails black. Like a women's man, talks drunk and proud, the sky black. You said if you